sitting before you because we have this conviction that is in tune with you. Make us strong with our convictions. Set our feet on solid ground when it comes to the convictions that we have on ourselves. That we will not be swayed, but rather we will stand strong. All because we want to honor you and because we want to praise you. Holy Spirit, guide us as we make our convictions. We allow you to work in our hearts, Holy Spirit. Convict us. Give us the conviction that would lead us closer to the foot of Christ. Salamat, Paninon. Salamat, Paninon. You truly love us. That's why you want us to know these things. Because you don't want us to stay away from you, but rather you want us to go closer with you. Lord, as we finish this service, as we go back home, give us the time to reflect on these things and help us to be honest with ourselves in answering these questions. Lord, it is not because we want to look good with other people, but first and foremost, we want to establish a right relationship with you. Let this be our main concern, my Lord. That we walk fully and our hearts is in line with you. Bless everyone that are here. Thank you for their lives. Lord, thank you that each one of us here is a living, living testimony of who you are, our living God, gracious and merciful. We are here, God, because of your mercy. And we are here because of your love. Continue to bless each one. Lord, I speak provision and I speak provision for each family that are here. And even I speak peace in each one's mind. Lord, all through the week, we may, we may encounter challenges, temptations, and trials. But Lord, thank you that we know we are safe because we are in you. We can go through all the week. We can go every day because you are with us. By our own strength, we agree that we will fail. But it is your strength that will get us through. Salamat, Paninon, for that kind of love. Yes. Salamat that we can rest fully because we know we have a God that truly and really loves us. Yes. For we are so blessed to be called your children. Yes. yes, we acknowledge we are not worthy. We are sinners. But Jesus did everything for us. He made us complete so that we'll be able to come to you. We will be able to enjoy your presence more, your provision more, and your protection more because of Jesus Christ. Lord, all through the week, my prayer is you would manifest in each one of us your presence more. Your love would be truly fed by each one that we will all continue to praise you, we will all continue to have that eagerness to worship you because you have revealed yourself to us. Be with us every hour, be with us every time, for we long to be in your presence. And as we do so, keep us humble. Keep us rooted in who we really, who we really are at the foot of the cross. Lord, that we are not better than anybody else. We are just equal before you. Keep us rooted. Keep us rooted on the truth. Lord, once again, bless us with your presence wherever we go. Sa mga plano namin, 
sa mga problema namin. Lord, all we need is it. And we ask you to be with us, to be in the church. Continue to show your power. Continue to manifest your presence sa buhay ng bawat isa. And most of all, sa church na ito. This is your church and this belongs to you. We give you all the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, the rest of time for who wants to give and that is an open thing and Sister Milan is it okay for you to close us if you close your service in prayer then we can have a yeah yeah yeah
someone can call uh, Jermaine and Kyle because they're going to be playing tomorrow oh, afternoon. Okay, before they have lunch. Okay, can we just uh, lay our hands to Mother Jerks and Sister Galen? Yeah. Yeah, they're coming. Oh, no, it's not a big class. Who has it gone? I don't want to go to the class. And four weeks. Four weeks. Make sure we take our hands to them and that is great. Lord God, thank you for the lives of Brother George and his family. Lord, we have seen your blessings and we have seen your greatness in their lives. Lord, thank you for this chance that you give them, this blessing that we will be able to go back to the free base and have a rest. Lord, we believe that this comes from you out of the goodness of your heart. Continue to bless them, continue to protect them, yes. and continue to provide for them, Panginoon. And as yes. they go to the Philippines, sa pamilya nila, Lord, let the light that you have placed in them shine. Yes. Na makita nila yung pag-ibig mo sa mga buhay nila. That they will, be, they will be able to show this light to their families. That, and in so doing, their family will come to you. Lord, we just pray for your will na magyari sa buhay nila sa bakasyon na ito. That this will be meaningful and this will be fruitful. At babalik sila dito, Panginoon, full of energy because they have been rested. So now we're for what you're going to do sa bakasyon na ito. We all trust in you and we believe na kung ano man yung gusto mo mangyari, mangyari, Panginoon. Because we trust in you and we believe in you. Thank you for your life. Protect them and give them everything. Lord, we know that your blessings have been bountiful sa mga buhay nila. And we can only praise you for that. Yes, Let this be, Lord, an, an encouragement to us yes. that what you have done to them will encourage us to look up to you because you also have that for us. You have blessings na para sa Lord, bless them. Bless their trip. I pray for safety. Nakarating sila sa Davao safely, Panginoon. And ma-enjoy nila itong bakasin na to. All we ask, all of this I ask in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen.